Welcome to an IFI video update. We are at the Kunetra Overlook. Uh, behind us, what you're seeing is Syria, or what used to be Syria. The situation today is so harif, so upsetting, so chaotic, that Syria as a nation no longer exists. We've come up here with the leadership team of Intercessors for Israel, as well as the leader of Intercessors for Israel, Germany, to pray around the borders, to pray for security. And uh, while we've been up here, unfortunately, this wicked P5 plus 1 deal with Iran has taken place. Uh, I'm Chuck Cohen, one of the directors of Intercessors for Israel. Eliyahu Ben Chaim is the chairman. I'm going to be asking this guy some questions. Eliyahu, what do you think about this P5 plus 1 deal, and how should we be praying for it now? It's born in the throne room of hell. It is an evil, wicked deal. This is worse than Munich, 1938, because we already have that history behind us. Mm -hmm. This is the same mistake that the Americans did with North Korea. Now North Korea has atomic weapons, ICBMs, and Iran is on the fast track to get it the same way. We need to pray. somehow take their head out of the sand for the Democrats, they would be willing to vote against their president, and that they would overturn an Obama veto and cancel this allowed it to happen. This is not his will. He's allowed it to happen. And now we need to understand how to pray for Israel to react, to respond. All of the newspapers yesterday said, because of this deal, a military strike by Israel has been just drawn closer than been held off. How do we pray for Israel now? Huh? We pray for Israel, for the Prime Minister, Defense Minister, Chief of Staff, the Heads of the Security Services, the Security Cabinet, actually the whole, not just the whole government, but everyone in the Knesset, except those 14 Arab Knesset members, that they would realize this is an existential threat, that they would band together, and we would do what we need to do when we need to do it. Personally, I have confidence that if God calls Israel to military attack Iran, we can do a very, very successful job. It won't just put them back a year or two. It will put a real kibosh on this nuclear project for a long, long time. I'm actually grateful Herzog, the opposition leader, is going to America. He's going to stand with the, the prime minister in this area. And uh, we need to uh, also pray that uh, some of the people in the opposition, such as Lapid, would stop their stupidity. They're actually blaming Netanyahu for this terrible deal when actually whatever he's done has been the little tiny positive parts that were put in this deal. But it is a bad, bad deal. We hope you will continue to track with us on our Friday prayer alerts as this is going to be a major point uh, of prayer for the, for the foreseeable future. Remember, this is the same area I ran today where Haman came out of who wanted to destroy the Jewish people. And it didn't take much. It took one man and his niece to be able to stand in the gap and turn the whole thing around. And Haman ended up hanging on the gallows in which he had planned to hang Mordecai. And we have seen this over and over again. One of the ways we can pray is out of Psalm 35 and I think Psalm 57 where it says, Lord, let them fall into the trap, into the net they have set for the innocent. Now, brothers and sisters, we're up here on the Golan. And we can't tell you how grateful we are that despite the best intentions of many previous Israeli governments, the Golan has never been given away to Syria. Can you imagine Syria having this part now with Syria falling apart? We'd have al Nusra, we'll have al Qaeda, we'd have ISIS, we'd have. By the way, Eliyahu, who was it who God had who led us into the line and helped stop the
Lebanese offshoot of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards who've been sucked into the Golan, trying to set up another place to attack Israel, that they would be caught in the snare and that they would not escape. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, thank you. Keep in touch with us by our Friday prayer alerts on our website. And uh, he throwed from the Golan. Shalom from Eretz Israel. Shalom from the land of Israel.